I'm just going to run through the examination of your peripheral vascular system, if that's okay. okay if I start by looking for any signs of tar staining, checking capillary refill, looking for any signs of cyanosis or anemia, and feeling for the radial pulse, the ulnar pulse, brachial. You just lift your arm up for me. So feeling for the axillary pulse. And then the subclavian. And then we'll repeat the same on the other arm. So again, checking the capillary refill. The radial pulse. Ulna. Brachial. Again, the axillary pulse. Fine, if you just know your arm. To the subclavian. At this point, examine for any evidence of radio radial delay and ideally take a blood pressure in both arms. So just look at the wall for me. So now feel for the carotid pulse. And if you look back towards me, again feeling for the carotid pulse. Okay, then listen for any evidence of carotid breeze. And just lower the bed slightly. Could you just lift your shirt for me, please? And looking at the abdomen for any obvious swellings, any uh, abnormal pulsations, and then feel each of the four quadrants just to put the patient at, at, at ease. Before feeling for the aorta itself in the midline, just above the umbilicus. When you feel the pulse, Slowly move your fingers apart to feel the edges of the aorta to give you a rough idea of the diameter. At this point, we we'll move on to look at the legs, looking for any obvious signs of venous disease such as varicose veins, venous eczema, uh, or hemosiderin staining. Also, look for any ulceration and any signs of arterial disease such as loss of hair, thickening of the nails. Uh, or any ulceration. You check for capillary capillary refill in both feet. Look for any signs of ulcers on the tips of the toes, particularly looking in between the toes, and just look underneath at the heel. Then move on to examine the pulses. First, feeling the femoral pulse, which is one third of the way between the pubic tubercle and the anterior superior iliac spine, and the same on the other side. And also feel for any evidence of radiofemoral delay. Moving on, we feel the popliteal pulses, and just behind the knee. Try to make sure the patient's leg is relaxed and take the whole weight onto your fingers. And the same on the other side. Then feel for the posterior tibial pulse and the dorsalis pedis. And to complete the examination and, and the ankle brachial pressure index.